During the Witch Queen era, we got two brand new dungeons, Duality and Spire of the Watcher. Both dungeons came with their own seals, and both seals had an objective that a fair amount of the community found rough. Each title required you to complete the dungeon solo without leaving, and if you wanted the solo emblem from each dungeon, you had to complete the dungeon by yourself without dying. However, now that their recommended light level is 1600, are these dungeons easier to solo flawless? Well, I did the testing to see if that's true, and here's my results. The testing starts off with Duality. Duality launched during Season of the Haunted in May of 2022. When players went to Solo Flawless's dungeon, they found it to be difficult due to add density, Kabbalah backpacks that would explode and basically one-shot you, and the bosses having an obscene amount of health. However, those problems are not all that apparent nowadays. I ran through this dungeon on my Solar Titan to see how it felt now and found myself having an easy time in every encounter. The two boss fights took less than three damage phases to complete and there were really no threats whatsoever. Throughout the entire dungeon, I only had one close call moment where I was almost one shot by a Cabal backpack, but other than that it was smooth sailing. In the Galron fight, I ran Legend of Acrius with three Arc Surge boot mods to chunk the boss's health bar down. It took three phases to do, but it was pretty easy nevertheless. For the second encounter, I chose to run a loadout that allowed me to eliminate ads fast, and what I mean by that is I took the loadout speedrunners used for this encounter. Towards the last ultra enemy you need to kill in the vault encounter, I switched to Legend of Acrius to chunk them down a little faster. The Cabal fight was more like the Galron fight in the sense that there were no threatening enemies whatsoever, and the fact that Kaido fell apart thanks to bait and switch Apex Predator. If you have good damage phases, you can melt Kaido in 2 phases, which is nuts, but I bought it out and had to finish her in 3 phases. If you do this run on Solar Titan and you are decent at the game, then overall this will be an easy solo flawless. I would 100% say that duality has gotten much easier. The next dungeon to test is Spire of the Watcher. I actually did a solo dungeon guide on this dungeon when it was released back in December. And while the strategy that I shared in that guide is still very useful, I opted to do the basic bit strategy of using Solar Warlock with Sunbracers and Well. I will say that this dungeon hasn't gotten as easy as Duality has. This whole dungeon experience isn't difficult to begin with, but all of the bosses in this dungeon still take 6 phases to easily kill, so the endurance aspect of each fight is still there. The opening encounter is much easier when you realize that you can do it without having supplicants chasing you down the entire time as long as you complete each chain at the same time. My loadout in the opening isn't too important, but it's on screen now if you care enough to know. The first main encounter is once again very easy once you familiarize yourself with the wire routes. I did very little ad clear in this encounter and still had a pretty easy time so don't stress yourself out if you aren't killing many ads. Regarding the first boss fight, it's still as much of a bitch as it was when it first released. As I said when starting this segment off, the boss has slightly lower health, meaning that you won't need to do 100 damage phases to take this boss down, but you will need to do roughly 6 damage phases. I used the loadout on screen, and honestly for the heavy weapon, it will depend on how good you are at hitting rockets. Bin Switch Cataclysmic is still a blessing to have here and is really easy to use, but will overall give you less damage while Bait and Switch Apex Predator will give you more overall damage but can be very easily messed up, so just choose one to use. Regarding the final boss fight, I went about it as I did in my original guide and found it to be fairly easy. This boss does require you to do several damage phases despite the boss's health being lowered, which was a bummer but thankfully it was 6 damage phases, which is infinitely better than the 8 you had to do in Season of the Seraph. Once again, my loadout is on screen if you'd like to copy what I was using. Overall, this dungeon hasn't changed that much. The ads don't nearly hurt like they used to, so that's nice, but the bosses still take a while to kill. As I said in the original guide, just have patience and you'll clear this dungeon. So, now that we have discussed how each dungeon went, would I say that they are easier to solo flawless now? Well, kind of. Duality is significantly easier to solo flawless now, meaning that you won't have to struggle too much compared to what you would have had to if you were to have attempted this back in Season of the Haunted days. For Spire of the Watcher, however, there's not much of a difference between now and then regarding their solos. Spire is a little bit easier now, but it's not a cakewalk. You'll need to have a significant amount of patience to do this solo, and if you are not a patient player, then you simply won't have a good time. Well, that'll wrap up this video. If you found this video useful, then consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel for more Destiny 2 content dropping weekly. Be sure to stop by my streams that happen right here on YouTube, as I've been doing some fun challenges over there and would love to see you guys over there. 
finally, check out my social media platforms linked in the description below where I post about the content I'm working on and even have some fun projects that I'm working on, like a hot take series that I'm doing on my TikTok and also right here on my YouTube. With that being said, I'm Sniper KH and I'm out. Good luck with gaming.